Today is Friday, May 15, 2020. We're going to be doing the student performance analysis. This is where the questions come from. On number one, a box contains red marbles and blue marbles. The ratio of red marbles to blue marbles in the box is 8 to 3. Select each statement that could represent the number of red marbles and blue marbles in the box. So if we look at it, we've got 3 to 8, 24, 64, 24, 18, 13, 48, 18. We've got a variety of numbers. So one of the simplest ways to do this is to go ahead and make a ratio table. So now if I want to go back and see which ones that I can answer, 3 red and 8 blue. So it should be 8 to 3, so these are reversed, so that's not correct. 64 red and 24 blue. So on red, we didn't go out as far as 64. So we could go ahead and extend it to 64. So here we were skip counting, times 2, times 3, times 4, from here to here. I'm going to do 8 times 8 is 64, 3 times 8 is 24. There's 64 red and 24 blue, that's correct. <clears throat> but we don't stop there, we need to keep going. 18 red and 13 blue, there is 16 to 6. So it's not 18 to 13. We can't simplify the 8 and 3 down any further. There are exactly 48 red marbles and 18 blue. And we didn't go far enough to do that one either. So we're going to add another column here. And go from here to here. So if we have 48 red marbles, the 48 would be there. 8 times 6 is 48. So 11 times 6, I'm sorry, 3 times 6 is 18. So 48 red to 18 blue, 48 red to 18 blue. So we have two correct answers. Number two, a board contains stars and triangles. The ratio of triangles to stars is 3 to 1. It's triangles, two stars, underline the first once, second twice, so 3 is triangles, and 1 is stars. Select each picture that could represent the number of stars and triangles on this board. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, tri 6 triangles. So if 3 triangles to 1 star. If we have 6 triangles, we need to have 2 stars. And we do indeed have 2 stars. Another way you could do it visually is for 3 triangles, you get 2 stars. Three triangles has one star. Three triangles has one star. So that is two groups. So that would be times two. On the next one, they have the same numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six stars to two triangles. So they reverse the numbers with the objects. Over here, again, you can either circle it or group it together. We have three triangles. To one star is the ratio that we want. Three triangles to one star and three triangles to one star. Or you could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine triangles, one, two, three, three stars. So it's three groups or we could just multiply by three. So you have two possible answers, this one and this one. Number three. There are five red candies and one blue candy shown in the bag. What is the least number of red and blue candies that can be added to the bag to create a ratio of three to two for the number of red candies to the number of blue candies? So if we want a ratio of three to two, red to blue, so we, for, we want three red, to two blue. We have five red candies and one blue. 
So what we're saying is how many can we add to make the least? So to have the least number, if we multiply it by two and go from here to here, three times two is six, two times two is four. So this is what we started with. One, two, three, four, five red and one blue. There are five red and one blue. Let's see, what can we add it to make a ratio of three to two? So the red, we can have six red and four blue. So if we have five red here, we add one more red. If we started with one blue, we add three blue. So what your answer is actually what is here circled one red and three blue. Number four, identify each set that has a one to three ratio for the number of circles to the number of triangles. First one is one. Circles is the first one, so it's one circle. TO is circled, which represents the colon. Three is triangles. So we want more triangles than circles. We've got more triangles than circles. We have one, three triangles to one circle, so that works. Here we have three triangles, but we have two circles. This one is reversed. We should have more triangles. One, two, three triangles to one circle. Two triangles to one circle, so that's not enough. One, two, three triangles to one circle. One, two, three, three triangles to one circle. Here we have more circles than triangles, so that's reversed. So we've got this correct one and this correct one. On number five, there are 24 fiction books and 36 nonfiction books on a shelf. Which three ratios represent the relationship of the number of fiction books to the, number, to the total number of books? So we want fiction two total. We have 24 fiction books, so that's going to be our first one, and 36 nonfiction. So first of all, we need to get our total. So we have fiction to total is what we're looking for, but we need the nonfiction to get it. So we're going to add the nonfiction on the top. So nonfiction is 36, fiction is 24, so our total here is going to be 60. So for us to simplify it down, go from there to there, we can divide, all of them are even, we can divide them by twos. They're all divisible. Well, let's go ahead and divide by two. 36 divided by two is 18. 24 divided by two is 12. 60 divided by two is 30. Again, they're all even, so we can divide down again. 18 divided by 2 is 9, 12 divided by 2 is 6, 30 divided by 2 is 15. They're not even now, but 3 goes into each one, so we're going to divide by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 15 divided by 3 is 5. And one good reason to go ahead and divide all three of them out, even if you don't know, need to, so you can check your math, 3 plus 2 is a total of 5. So we know we did all of our division correctly. But we are looking through fiction to total, fiction to total here, so 2 to 5 there. So we have this 2 to 5 here, we have this 2 to 5 here, and we have this 2 to 5 here. So you have your same simplified ratio written in three different notations. Number six, identify each picture that has a ratio of two to three for the number of triangles to the number of circles. Triangles first one, circle the T-O. Circles is a second, so it gets two lines. So there's two triangles is the first one. Three is the second, so it's three circles. So we need more circles on this one. So we have three triangles to two circles. So this is reversed. You've got one, two, three circles to two triangles. So this would be one group and the bottom would be one group, so that would be correct. On here we want three circles to two triangles. So we've got a group there, we've got a group there, and we've got a group there, so that one is also correct. Three circles to two triangles, that's good. 
three circles. I'm sorry, these are reversed. They did three triangles to two circles. So we have three answers. On number seven, given three red cars and nine blue cars in a parking lot, what is the ratio of the number of red cars to the number of blue cars? So we want red to blue. Now please be careful. The red, make sure the red goes first. Three red, nine, nine blue. Three red to nine blue. So the three comes first, three to nine. That's correct. Nine to three is reversed. In order to try these, we're gonna simplify. A small one goes into the big one. Three divided by three is one. Nine divided by three is three. So one to three is also an answer. Three to one is reversed. One to three is also an answer, but so is three to nine. So you've got one, two, three, four possible answers in there. Number eight, part to whole relationships. Given three red cars and nine blue cars in a parking lot, the ratio of the number of red cars to the total can be written. So here's the total, red, T-O, and total underlined twice because it's our second one. So we have three red to total, but we have nine blue, which is our 12 total. So again, these are all simplified, threes and twelves. So we're gonna three to nine to 12. And what we want is red to total. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this blue. So we can simplify three and 12. Three goes into 12. So three divided by three is one. 12 divided by three is four. So from here to here, we did divided by three. Now that we have it simplified, we can go ahead and expand it if we like, or we can go ahead and see what answers we have to see if we need to expand anything else. So one to four, one to four, three to 12, that's three to 12, three to 12, three to 12. Now here's where it gets tricky because this is a percent and this is a decimal. So 25% is equal to one fourth, but it says the ratio of the number of cars to the total number to, of red to the total can be written as these different ways. And a ratio is not written as a percent and a ratio is not written as a decimal. So even though they are benchmarks, it's not a way to write the ratio.